What's going on y'all? DDOA, the Valley Dark of Age one. Today we're going to be benchmarking the Ryzen 5 2400G overclock for the GFX clock to 1500 MHz, the memory allocation for video RAM to 2 GB, and the processor running at 4 GB. We have a Ryzen 5 2400G, and to go with that, we have the Corsair Vengeance LPX 2 times 8 GB sticks around running at 3000 megahertz so let's go ahead and get to that benchmark y'all hey guys so i wanted to give you an idea of what the ryzen 5 2400g will run at overclocked i have the graphics clock set to 1500 megahertz two gigabytes of vram allocated and the cpu is set to four gigs time spy will not run on factory settings i tried it a couple different times and every time I ran it, it just crashed. Alright, so we're going ahead and getting this benchmark loaded up. It honestly took probably about two minutes to get it completely loaded. I went ahead and skipped through everything though. If you are playing World of Warcraft, you will be able to get 60 frames per second, no doubt. And no problem whatsoever with the graphics settings almost completely on Ultra. You might have to turn down a few things. Now keep in mind that Time Spy is a benchmark designed for very, very, very high-end systems. So this is by no means something to gauge the category of graphic performance that this will give you in everyday games on mid to upper high settings. For example, Counter-Strike Go, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, all those games play pretty much flawlessly at 60 frames per second. This benchmark is really, really testing the GPU and CPU portion. This was not able to even run when it was on default settings in Ryzen Master. Alright, so I can't just leave y'all thinking that the 2400G is a weak processor. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all some World of Warcraft gameplay. Now this is the current retail version. I have the graphics settings almost completely maxed out on everything. Off a 256GB hard drive in the Ryzen 5 2400G with a 212 EVO for cooling. Now, if you play World of Warcraft, Battle for Azeroth, you already know that Stormwind is one of the more populated areas. And populated areas will lag the hell out of your processor and your GPU. However, as you can see here in this video, I'm having no problem whatsoever with frame rate. So, the 2400G is a great processor if you're playing something like World of Warcraft, League of Legends, or Counter-Strike GO, for instance. Alright, now for the third test, the third benchmark. After we do this, we're going to check out the score, and then we're going to have a closing.
All right, so you can tell from the test, the processor scored a lot better than the GPU portion, of course. And we got an 1138 score on TimeSpy, which ends up being better than a notebook computer, but not quite on the level of what they classify as a gaming PC. Hey, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, Hit the notification bell for notification of the next time I release a brand new video. This is DDOA signing out. Y'all have a good one.